How many surgeries have you had that failed? I had one failed lift surgery before this. I had one incision and drainage and one c tongue placement. So I've had three previous operations. Two surgeries already, uh, which was failed. I had five surgeries in four months. Three previous surgeries and then a cutting seat on. I had three INDs and one seat in placement. Before coming to India, I've had six surgeries and at two separate times I've had two seat tons placed. Prior to traveling to India, I had 26 surgeries in the US at five hospitals, including a stem cell plug as part of a clinical trial. With multiple failed surgeries in the United States, proving to be unsuccessful, she finally happened upon a Facebook page and found hope. And that hope brought us to India. The four, the four fistula. <laughs> yeah. Living with a C10 is horrible. I mean, it just, you're frustrated. And, and I felt, I was um, very active, played tennis four or five times a week, very involved with my daughter's school. And the, the thought of trying to get somewhere and having to go through all the bathroom stuff and then wearing a pad and gauze and it hurts and it rubs up against you and then you gotta, where am I gonna change this? For a lot of years, I just believed that this is how life is gonna be, you know, cause that's how all my doctors told me it was gonna be. They said, you know, you were gonna have more surgeries, you're gonna have more, you know, uh, medicines, you're gonna have more failures and I'm sorry, but this is kind of, this is how it is, you know, and I think at a point I kind of gave up thinking that there was a possibility of any life outside of that. Um, I was terrified. Terrified to leave my home country. Terrified knowing that it was a procedure that really wasn't accepted worldwide. Knowing that I'd had to be away from my family for three months. But there was a part of me after doing the research that if I wanted to live a normal life again, I had to go to India. That that was my only place to be cured. Chara Sutra is one of the treatment mentioned by Sushruta, ancient Indian surgeon roughly around 500 BC. Kshara means alkali which is obtained by a plant. Sutra means threat. Therefore alkali which is obtained by a plant which is quoted 21 times to a threat is called Kshara Sutra. It becomes tighter, smaller, smaller and it will become a proper circle. It won't be there. It is okay. a fresh, no? therefore it is like, it is okay. normal. Mm -hmm. Especially in anal fistula when we treat with Kshara Sutra with the two important goals. One, there should not be recurrence. Second, there should not be incontinence. Ayurveda has got lot of many, many such golden treatments. It is up to us to explore it. But it is an Indian system of medicine. Now, when it is Indian system of medicine, therefore it is limited to India as of now. The MRI. On the intervention itself, I think the more you look at it, the more you realize that it's, it's not a miracle cure. It's actually a very targeted intervention for a specific pathology or disease. For Ayurveda medicine, India has managed to hold on to that. It's thousands of years old. India, India has managed to, to keep in that way. And without that, we wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be healed. I've been suffering from Fisla for two years. And I tried different alternative medicines like Siddha, I went to an English doctor and they suggested two, three surgeries. Uh, somehow I ended up here. I went to an Ayurvedic center in Coimbatore from there. They referred here and I'm happy that today is my last checkup. I spoke to previous patients of Shah Sutra or KS intervention who had very positive stories. And that's actually what turned my mind towards coming to India and thinking more seriously about this as an intervention. I think the hardest part for me of the treatment wasn't really the treatment itself, but it was just sucking myself up to actually believe, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to India. I'm going to be away from my family for all these months, and I'm actually doing this. I think when I came, I thought this was a purely physical battle, um, and it's been everything 
am some more. Um, it's been an emotional battle. It's been a spiritual battle. Um, it's been a mental battle. Um, and I think a lot of those things I bottled up when I was back home. You know, I still um, had the spiritual part at home, you know, and always kind of relied on that and, and, you know, put my faith into that. But I think for a lot of times I just said, this is life and just put it and said, okay, this is what it is and didn't really blood any of it out and then I think once I finally got here and was going through this process a lot of that just naturally started coming out. Um, on July 3rd I thought I was having a thread change. I felt a pinchy cutty feeling and I said did you just do a thread change? And he said no thread, no fistula, no branch. So yeah! <laughs> it's my last Dr. Bot visit. A lot of emotions. I had a star named after you. <laughs> a star up in the sky. Oh, okay. So it says the star with the coordinates and tells the coordinates yeah. was successfully entered into the star naming registry on the day you declared me fistula free. You restored my health, my hope, and my belief in miracles. Thank you for saving my life <laughs> with extreme gratitude, admiration, and appreciation. Yeah. <laughs> Wish you all the best. God bless you. Enjoy your life. Thank you so much. One of the first things that I saw that I, I was so happy about was we've gone through a cycle of people since we've been here and people go home cured. This <laughs> oh. So happy. My eyes are leaking. <laughs> So that was the most positive thing that I could say that I saw. You know, no matter how my wife felt along the way, we were seeing people go home. So every week there was a new hope. January to June 2008, five surgeries, 24 per change, 64 candles, 18 local anesthesia, one amazing doctor, bar review. Every time for change, remember me. This is one. <laughs> I'm grateful, man. I'm very grateful. This experience has taught me to be thankful for what we have. It's taught me that your health isn't just your body.